I just finished painting my new workshop in my new house in my new country, France. I have moved to France. So this is where the marble machine is going to get built. Up in that corner it's going to stand and that's where I'm going to finish it. On the upstairs, I'm going to show you later, I have a music studio. So I don't know if you can see but this the hairs are like standing up on my arm. This is a 15 year long dream coming true. I have always been renting kind of small places and although I had good experience from that, I always had to shuffle things around and I could never set my own rules. I had, I always had to take other people into account. Here I can just do whatever I want. I'm gonna build my dream music studio upstairs. I actually didn't have a decent music studio for 10 years, which has affected me more than I thought, I think. Downstairs, I'm building my dream Marble Machine X workshop, and this is really, really what I need to make the big dreams about the album and about the Marble Machine X world tour with the rest of the band come true. So, I am just so, so, so happy. Yeah. That's that's it. And then um, I don't even know where to begin this video. I have so much to tell you. <laughs> um... So let's start a little bit from the beginning here. Not a long time ago, like three months ago, I was living at Brenner Island and working in this small container. You can see the space I didn't have in that container. So Hannes invited me to move to Trollhättan and I already knew that I was going to go to France. So I knew that moving to this shop in Trollhättan was going to be temporary. Anyway, Marius was coming to Sweden to work on the Marble Machine X with me and I really wanted to have a good space to work with Marius on the project, so I moved 50 cubic meter of equipment to Trollhättan to work there for two months. Another reason that I wanted to move to Trollywood was that I could work much closer with Hannes on making the videos for the YouTube channel. I even lived together with Hannes in his flat during the time and we had two epic months together where we made epic shots and learned to collaborate more and more. Hannes is right now finishing up an animated feature film that he has been working on for a whole year. The film will be done in two, three weeks and after that he will go full time to work with me on the Vintgatan YouTube channel. We are really enjoying the feedback you are giving us on the videos we make and when Hannes can work full time with the Vintgatan YouTube channel, I can focus on the Marble Machine X and we can hopefully make even better videos for you. So for some months now I've been spending a lot of energy on moving around and now I had to do it again but this time it felt very different because I knew that it was not temporary and that I was moving to my dream workspace.
that's all my stuff. Everything I ever built, the music box, all my music instruments, the Marble Machine X, everything is in that car over there. I just discovered the first thing that I forgot to pack in the truck. So this disc sander was hiding out. I'm going to try to take it in my personal suitcase. So that was naive of me because now weighing the bag it weighs 44 kilos and I have to leave the disc sander in Sweden. complete <laughs> something like that shit it was almost cool and there's the studio terrace A special thing with filming YouTube videos here in southern France is the very special light. And the light is special down here and it actually has an explanation. It's a wind called the Mistral and this very strong Mistral wind clears the atmosphere from dust and increases visibility. So it creates a special kind of light and already a lot of the classical painters were aware of this and came here to paint because of this light. And I completely understand why they did so, because every time I put my camera down I just take off the lens cap and the image is fantastic. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to film videos for you here in this special light. Also the weather, the irony here is that I'm not a, a weather person, but I'm becoming a weather person because if we look at Trollhättan the past two weeks in Sweden and then we look at France the past two weeks and well you can see the abundance of sunlight is such a joy it's I can work outside and I can film with natural light and that's just a big bonus. So after 15 years of dreaming about a place like this where I can both work and live and after biting my nails for six months to see if I actually can get this place and after moving 50 cubic meters of stuff around constantly for four months and after knocking down that last wall and carrying the last moving box into the house I finally had my HQ, I was finally home. I think for me what really symbolizes being home was actually putting the power supply to my computer into the wall and knowing 
that computer and that power supply is going to stay connected to that wall until I decide to remove it. I'm in control of my own fate here and that really makes me creative and I can focus on the things that I want to focus on. Thanks so much for watching and see you on the next Vitigata Wednesday.